Hello everybody, my name is Athino, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to defend our uh, solo queue ops to play on Consulate to defend the second floor. Now, this video is only going to be for the second floor, so feel free to skip everything. I will do other videos on the garage, but I feel like there's just so many operators for me to cover over. So I will do the garage and uh, another video for probably tomorrow or like in some other day. But I'm going to show you guys how to uh, different roles you can play. Like if you don't really know how to defend the upstairs. Um, so I'm going to show you guys uh, probably like three or four different ops to play. So first, we're going to start off with Legion. You want to run Impex and his SMG. So um, most of these operators the I'm showing you guys are able to hold, play like as much ground as you can I, when you're solo queuing you want as much information and just try to do as much as you can by yourself to help you win the round because you know you're solo queuing most of the time you're not going to have any uh, attackers so usually what i like to do i like to when i just spawn in go ahead and make a reinforcement right here now this you're going to make a rotate next to you so you go ahead uh, make sure there's no teammates around you you blow this up and then you come over here and you can either do right here or like usually i kind of like to do like right here so you kind of blow this like a ground level oh, i did that a little bad but um you would do right here and then this way you can see people repel in you can maybe you can get a kill yourself on here but when people repel in you're gonna get an easy shot on them and then so this is basically where you're gonna play um so for the impacts you want to be careful uh maybe you might want to try to ask someone to shotgun with a shoot that out most times someone will have a shotgun and then maybe they make the rotate right here don't forget about that if you are legion you may be responsible for the rotates um but anyways so there's like kind of three different ways now when you're right here this is a very very strong position but at the same time you are exposed to skylight windows window window possibly this window and be careful with this window i doubt this a lot be careful with that now you're seeing like why should i play this way what if i get shot i'm gonna get naded out now you could uh most of the time you ask for a jaeger maybe if some barbed wire in here but that's why you're legion you have the sound cues down here boom 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 and if uh maybe like the thing about legion on this site there's so many doorways where they can come in not like maybe windows but if you put a legion right here you're like okay yo someone's coming in from meeting door then you're like, alright, I gotta put my attention over there. So, that's how you basically play the Legion. You play here, and then you kind of watch the window, and then you can pick this. You, you stall a lot of time, and you're you're holding a very strong position. <coughs> Excuse me. You're holding a very strong position, and you can basically be extremely versatile. You'll get as many kills as a rummer. Maybe less, maybe more, who knows. But you will get a lot of kills, and you'll win more rounds, trust me. When you're playing right there, do not move or go from that spot if there's nothing else to do. Because you don't want to give that spot that spot. Yellow is extremely uh, control. It's uh, defender sided and attacker sided. Whoever has it wins the territory all the way. So, Jaeger. So, yes, you could play Jaeger on this one. You could do exactly what I did. But uh, the thing about this, uh, you might not have the holes to do this. But anyways, you still have that yellow hole. You put the barbed wire down here. So a good spot to play with the Jaeger is right here. Then you can put like ADSs right here. And again, like I said, you're holding yellow. You'll see this a lot in the higher ranks. People hold yellow a freak ton. Smoke shotgun, mute shotgun. It's extremely hard to attack yellow when someone's holding it. Unless you can try to nade him out. So that's why, you know, you see a lot of people repelling on this. Windows, you gotta be extremely careful though. though. Just don't underestimate them. People can see better than you can see them most of the time. And uh, so for Jaeger, I usually like to put one in yellow. I like to just put one, like maybe like right. Uh, I like to stand on top of this. Um, basically, like just put it like, like I can usually get it right there. But you know, you put one on this window, and then you could either like if you see them nading from a lot of places, maybe just put that, that in the next round one right here, and then put my barbed wire on these stairs. These stairs, a lot of Ash mains like to come walk up. You know, kill your guy in sight, boom, boom, dead, and then it's a tragic moment right there. But, uh, you could also play yellow, but another good spot is to roam the bottom floor to kind of disrupt any, any kind of, like, bottom take. Like, you know, people, like, start coming up here, or coming at any of the stairs, you kind of want to, like, use the stairs to, uh, kind of get the late flank and 
Maybe make some presents. Punch, maybe like uh, punch some windows in here. Uh, shoot out some drones. Try to take out as many drones as you can. Waste a lot of time. Now, people start, if you're getting jackal tracked, people start tracking you. Just run. Honestly, just waste their time. Just run away. You're good. There's literally no reason for you to push out unless, so now, let's say you got tracked and you're down here. And then a person dies in your team. What should you do? Should you keep roaming down here? Oh, I hear someone. But a 4v5 means you gotta you gotta think about making a play. You gotta start uh, kind of trying to make that play for the refrag. And what I mean by refragging is like uh, trying to even out the the um, the players. You want to make it a 4v4 now. And then let's say like if for example like this for everything in general. If it's a 3v5 and you're roaming. You as a roamer, it is now up to you to start. You have the biggest uh, responsibility to change up the round. People are on site, they're trying to hold site. It's time for you to make a play. It's time for you to come back to site. It's time for you to get some kills or disrupt their push. Slow them out as much as you can. Now, the last operator I'm going to show you guys today is called, is our, I'll call it. It's a uh, Mozzie. Now, this is probably one of my favorite operators in the game. Just cause how much utility he has. He has a shotgun. He has an amazing gun. He has the Roni also. Two barbed wire and three pests. Basically, he's mute. He's barbed wire. And he has a shotgun. He's basically Legion. He's like he's like Legion, but with like he's Legion mute and what do you call it? He has these drones and then he has barbed wire. He has so much, he's really good. Now a trick that people don't really use i got this from yeti he's now on e united go check him out I'll put, a, I'll put his link in the description but he did show me this if you shoot open mozzie pest will stick to anything you put on anything literally anything you put on the ceiling if you want but it's no point but if you shoot this open right here no matter the twitch drone no matter what it is if you put a mozzie pest right here oh that's a bad one but you understand if you put it you can put it in between the bars and you can catch basically any drone. They will physically <coughs> have to come here to shoot it out. Like no, like it's extremely hard to let you know where it is. You're gonna waste a lot of time. They're going to peek naked. And uh, what I like to do, I like to start out with putting barbed wire right here. And then a really good mozzie spot, a mute jammer spot is just directly right here. That way drones, you block off a lot of high traffic. They can't really shoot this unless they get in. But they shouldn't be getting in the first place. Just because of, uh, you know, they have to come in naked. The, what, the, the point of Mozzie and Mute and like a lot of entry denial, like entry, info denial, is you want the enemy to try to face check you and all that. That way you, you have the advantage and you can, you brought, basically kind of know, make it so the drones on their part is bad so another good place is like right here they can't shoot it a twitch drone might be able to get it but you know most of the time it's just uh, using mozzie so yeah i would i usually like hold yellow put the barbed wire down here and uh kind of make your own rotate with mozzie shotgun you have 41 bullets boom rotate here boom rotate there and then you want to shotgun out this yeah, yeah i didn't have enough time but you can shotgun out that and you can basically see everything you can do anything you want mozzie which i really love mozzie for you can make any holes you want all that, that stuff so those are the three operators uh if you want it's jaeger legion and mozzie if you guys want to see um more kind of uh tip videos and like advice or like what to play on you know any other bomb site on any map please feel free to comment below now uh these are my socials right here right there so those are gonna be my socials right there. Um, I post at least like four times a day on Instagram, um, just siege tips and uh, stream highlights. Uh, it's not your average, you know, oh, doc 3K, but you know, it's, I, I feel like I wanna provide some content on you on Instagram. I stream every day on Twitch, except for, except for Mondays. Yeah, Mondays because I have school and I have to go to work, but every other day I will be live for at least three hours. Um, yeah, I have a high school esports. If you guys want to check that out, um, I will, I'll provide more information in the description and uh, on YouTube. Yeah, daily, daily stuff, guys. Make sure you guys are subscribing, and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Uh, the next video tomorrow. All right, peace out, boys.